Thank you so much, Justin. Losing a loved one is never easy. This year marks the 10th annual Walk to Remember event put on by the Compassionate Friends chapter of Fargo-Moorhead, which honors those who have died and gives support to grieving families. Valley News Team Giovanna Simas tells us how this event helps two families who both lost a child. Parents, siblings, and friends from all over the FM area walk to remember those they lost. My son was killed in a car accident out by Frazee. He was 25 years old. He committed suicide in April of 2012. And um, we um, started going to um, some suicide meetings in town and then we um, came to the Compassionate Friends and we just felt more at home with the Compassionate Friends. Over 200 people came to the event sponsored by the Compassionate Friends organization. We're worried somebody's going to forget our children and we don't want that to happen. No matter the age, the group is there to provide support to those who suffer from the intense pain of a loss. It's a sad thing to be here with all these people because we're here because we've all lost children. But then again, it's, it's like a family. While helping grieving families, cherish the special moments they had. You miss the future as well as the past. But yeah, we always, his memories is all we have, but we hang on to them. Hosts of the 10th annual Walk to Remember hope to spread this message. We're here for you if you've lost a child. We're not experts, we're not professionals. We're just other families that have gone through the loss of a child. They may be gone, but they are never forgotten. In Fargo, Yovana Simic, Valley News Live. Compassionate Friends meet on the second Thursday of each month at Faith Lutheran Church in West Fargo.